What was the first fully CGI character in a movie? This is a great question, and one that points to a pivotal moment in film history, where digital art really began to flex its muscles. The honor of the first fully CGI character in a movie goes to a shiny fellow known as the Stained Glass Knight, from the 1985 film Young Sherlock Holmes. The movie isn't as widely known as other big blockbusters of the era, but this particular CGI character was revolutionary. Directed by Barry Levinson, young Sherlock Holmes depicted a scene where a knight jumps out of a stained glass window to attack Watson. It's a short scene, but it was monumental for its time. The CGI character was created by none other than the famous Lucasfilm's graphics group, which would later become Pixar Animation Studios. You might have heard of them. The Knight was the result of computer graphics dreamweaving its way into cinematic storytelling, something that's completely ubiquitous now, but back then, it was a jaw-dropping achievement. Up to that point, most special effects were achieved through practical means, think models, prosthetics, and camera illusions. So while the Stained Glass Knight may not be as well known as later CGI icons like Terminator 2's T-1000 or Jurassic Park's Velociraptors, it paved the way for the seamless CGI integrations we have in movies today. Not to mention opening the door for an era of fully CGI characters, such as Jar Jar Binks, for better or worse, and Gollum, who would not only populate the backgrounds but take on major plot-driving roles. And if you ever get a chance to visit Portland, Oregon, where I'm based, there are some quirky video stores that still carry gems like Young Sherlock Holmes. It's worth checking out for a slice of CGI history. But be ready for a bit of 80s cheese. It was a different time with a totally different filmmaking vibe.